certainly makes things easier, doesn't it? Well, we'll see if it does that again. Though I'd like to wait until I see Benny so I can follow him out. So cold. So very cold. So very cold. Perfect. Now I ought to be able to zip out of here with no real trouble when the servant takes its next walk. I think I'll tackle the studies next. Oh! Oops. Oh yeah, make sure you dismount from one of the lower beams and make sure you do a proper dismount. Head into the northern study first. Once that door is closed behind you, you're free to make as much noise as you want. So enjoy it. Up the stairs. Only three things to do. First, reading material. Bram's Personal Collector's Journal, Volume 19, bought a new painting by the Throvian artist Lizotte. There was the most glorious auction at Ramirez's mansion. Still can't believe the price I got for it. Acquired unusual statue of a sea nymph from Merchant returning from Lesser Robota. Still trying to find that damn painting by Durant. Can't believe that Bafford tried to swindle me with a fake. Then get the glasses out of the chair, which bring my total to 2442, and hit this switch, which... Won't do anything apparent right now, I'll let you know what it did. Now we need to cross to the other study, so... Behooves you to wait until you hear Benny arrive and leave. Make sure I'm actually leaning in close enough to hear it. So once you hear him leave, move across this little zone, pick open the other door. Creep into this room, close the door. And there are a few things to do in here. First, reading material. Bram's Personal Collector's Journal, Volume 17. Just came back from a nice long trip in the Northern Territories. Ah, what wonderful hunting they have up north. Baffert always organizes the most delightful hunting excursions. We tromped around in the rain on horseback for a good three days and Julian caught a nasty cold. Still, it was tremendous fun. It was a pity I didn't catch any th- would be good hunting, but it was nothing like the time we went off west. I think there's just a deleted line there. No trophy heads to show this time. I'll add more to my collection soon, though. I hope to do some hunting while I'm off in the western countryside. Next, I'm going to head upstairs. There's a purse in this chest, which brings my total to 2542. A necklace on the bed brings my total to 2717. Now, you might have spotted it already, but... There's a door open under the stairs. That's what the switch in the other study opened. 
You come in here, the chest has another purse in it, brings my total to 2917, and that's finally enough to tick off my loot objective. Last thing to do in here, hit this switch for our third and final secret, which is a passage into the other study, which can only be opened from that side as far as I know. So I'll take advantage of the passage to reclose the door under the stairs. Then of course, supreming means the passage has to be closed, so zip back through here and close it. And I'll wait until I hear Benny leave. Well, arrive and leave again, which I think is right now. Oops. Don't want to get into that kind of hurry, so. Someone there? I need to be more careful. I'm getting excited because it's almost over and the rest is pretty easy, but I'm not done yet. I need to keep that in mind. So, shut that door behind me. Head down here. With Benny gone, I'm make a beeline for this passage. Out the other side, I'm gonna reclose it. Now my hope is that the archer and the robot are separate from each other. Enough, at least, so I can pickpocket the archer. Well, they're together, but the archer's in back, which is fine. Just gotta kind of move fast. So his arrows are the seventh of eleven pickpockets. Now we just need to... All we need to do now is get to the rafters, which actually we don't even need to get to the foyer to do. I'm just gonna wait for these two to cycle again. <laughs> I'm actually going to do a real save, a double one. Someone making Oops. Although to be honest, the foyer is the easiest way to get to the rafters, especially cuz they've separated some, so Not seeing Benny, I'm gonna assume he's in the terrarium. He was, so let's just move. What was that no? Let's just move faster because him in the terrarium is perfect. I just have to be careful of the archer too. Beautiful. Okay. Now with that done, we really don't... We don't ever want to leave the rafters again. Until we're on our way out. Of course, we'll have to do it to do some... 
accomplish some pickpockets, but... He's separate from his robot buddy, so... I'm gonna drop down after his arrows right now. And actually, I think I can probably rope up inside the hallway. That's the eighth. Oh no, I can't. That's the eighth of eleven pickpockets. But I'm gonna have to be better about it than that. Yeah, if I'd been thinking, I would have grabbed these arrows out of the secret door. Oh, no, you saw it, jump. But I wasn't. <laughs> yeah, he's the one who's spotting me because I'm moving too soon, so... Uh, turn around! Oh, Garrett, 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 come on! Just get it. So, that's the eighth of eleven pickpockets. This is a bad spot to try and actually get up onto the rafters, but it at least has the virtue of being shaded. There's a way to do this, I know. Why? Because I've done it before. Aha! Okay. I know it's possible now, that's all that matters. So, let's just... Keep trying until suddenly Garrett decides to go. Alternatively, I could wait till Benny goes back into the terrarium, and then just squeak back out into the foyer. That might be a better option. I don't know. Because this is so inconsistent. Uh, I've dismantled onto the rafters once. But when it happened, I was so surprised Garrett overshot and came down on the other side. Anyway, trust me, folks, this is... This is only difficult because of the technical glitch I'm having. There's Benny. He's headed, and we're up. Perfect. Okay. We now have eight out of eleven pickpockets. What was that noise? Oh, we don't want to do a full run, of course. So I like to head all the way to the end. I like to do whatever's hardest and still left to do first. I'm gonna head all the way to the end. Bypass the guards. Bypass the watchers. Bypass the robots. Business. 
when you get to the end, drop down. Just pop into this shadow here. This is a great spot to wait for the archer patrolling the hallway, first and foremost. I'm just trying to find the sweet spot, but we've got good shadows here. Lean forward and grab this arrow. That's our ninth of 11 pickpockets. Now pick open this door. Oops, I forgot about the... Forgot all about the bad guys behind me. This isn't right. Oh, okay. I'm gonna want to close the door too. Wait till both of them have their backs turned. I think he... I don't think he heard the door, but I think he saw me. Yes. Hello? Now that's bad timing. Okay. I think if we squat right here, we should be safe. But I'm not gonna quick save until I know for sure. Yes. So we Hello. Need Show yourself. Nothing here now. All right, we need to avoid first alerting him, so we need to be more quiet. I'm gonna floor it to this wall. Then I'm gonna try and follow him upstairs. <laughs> so that is the tenth of eleven pickpockets. And there are plenty of shadows up here. <laughs> the trick to this is just speed. We gotta drop down without taking damage and nab the cultivator and get out. Which is significantly tougher than you might think. <laughs> In fact, it might be better to come at it from the ground floor. No, I think dropping down from above is definitely the answer. We need to be able to run when we're done, so <coughs> roping is out of the question. Oh.
I'll tell you what might be best is if we can run down, grab it, and then rope back up. <coughs> That seems like it would be fastest to me. Hello? And it would give us some leeway that we need <coughs> to hide from the guy. Now I can't move. Something's happened to my movement controls. Okay, good. Now here's what I think I should do. Okay, we need to do the good old fashioned silent shot. This is the best way, for sure. Alright. The rope is in place, just need to slide down with no damage. And I need to give him long enough to get away from me, or get past me. Garrett needs to grab the cultivator on his first try. That right mouse button. Then he needs to... Too much of this game is Garrett just not doing what I'm pressing the button for him to do. Okay, come on now. Slide down. Do it without taking damage, please. Grab it. Up the road. Oh, and it's going second away, not just first. Oh, gee. Oh, gee. Okay, I just picked the single worst possible place to fire the arrow because that's not actually a shadow. Who knew? But I'm seeing the problems I'm gonna have. What I'm gonna wanna do is give myself as much time behind the robot as possible. And I'm also gonna wanna mantle into an actual shadow. So. That means I should put the rope over there. I don't think I quite got the shot I wanted. I definitely didn't that time. And now he's hearing me, so let's make a silent shot. should be able to. I can make a silent shot, I'll just have to adjust the trajectory. Maybe I need to make it from over here. Okay, I'll be able to do it from here. That was just too much of a draw. 
don't worry, it'll happen. I don't know why I've decided it needs to happen now, either. He's still hearing it. Okay, I tell you what, I'm just gonna wait a bit. Yep, I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna shoot when the archer's out of the room, when the robot's closer to here, because what I want to do is mantle into a shadow, and I want to give myself as much time behind the robot as I can. So it would be ideal to drop down from here, nab the cultivator, time, which is fine. We need to move faster than that. Whoops. <laughs> Garrett, please fall silently. Onto the carpet. Unbelievable. Garrett, grab the rope. <laughs> Beautiful. Cultivator nabbed and no first alert. I can just wait for the archer to come up here. I think this is a perfect shadow. Yep. Head downstairs. We got one pickpocket and some loot left to find, plus the precursor masks, but truly, truly the rest is even easier than what we've already done. Uh, once we completely escape the cultivator room, anyway. Ah, oh, the joys of hardcover. Alright, we gotta wait just a little longer to open that door, or to go through it anyway. Need to wait even a little longer. Excellent! Alright. Out of the cultivator room now, we can continue. Now it's very easy to get to the rafters here. The ceilings, I think twice as high. Oh, move over into the exhibition halls. This is all that's left, three exhibition halls. It's tedious, but we can get everything in them by roping down like this. The floors are trapped. There's a there way there's a way to disarm the trap, but it's complicated. You can only do it for two of the six rooms at any time, and this is just easier. So, that mask brought my, my total to 2967. 
This one's also loot. Brings my total to 3,017. <sighs> I never save on a rope in these rooms. That one brings my total to 3,067. Three thousand one hundred seventeen. There's my first of three precursor masks. Good. It's not the end of the world if you hit the ground either. If you can get back onto the rope on time, you're fine. That one brings my total to 3167. And we move onward. As you can see, we're just as you, if you map out the rest, these are all exhibition halls. Thirty-two seventeen. I actually do like Soul Forge too, but I'm not gonna lie. Thirty-two sixty-seven. I'm impatient to get to the end of Thief Two now. I'm kind of excited to play Thief 3 because I've been practice running it a little bit. It's the first time I have ever played the PC version on an actually decent computer. And I'm pretty stunned. The That's 3317. The uh, character models are very dated now, but I have to tell you, the levels still look incredible. Gotta be careful out in the hallways if you move too fast while you're close to the people they can still first alert to you so since everything's already clear all we need to do now is cross the foyer which we can stay on the rafters to do Get to the south wing of the third floor, which is the last bit we need to do. We already got this pickpocket, so we can just move straight along. I'm gonna peek down at him just to make sure. Yes, we did. We still have one pickpocket left to get. We've got all three secrets. We've got a little bit of loot left, but not much, and two precursor masks, but those are all in the same place. So, 3367. <sighs> There's the second of three precursor masks. It's not the end of the world if you make noise like that. They can hear you if they're close enough, so just listen. If you accidentally make noise, listen for the alert. Nobody heard that landing. So that's 3417. Move on to the next hall. Thirty-four sixty-seven. Thirty-five seventy. <laughs> yeah, that wasn't gonna work. Always quick save before you jump, just in case you get grease roped. Thirty-five sixty-seven. <laughs> Greased rope. You see how dangerous it is. 
Thirty-six, seventeen. <sighs> there is the third and final precursor mask. So we do need to get to the streets, which again means the backyard won't be good enough, but we aren't quite done yet. Get ready, have a little ceremony. This is the last piece of loot in Thief 2. That mask brings me up to 3667. That's it. There is no loot in Sabotage at Soul Forge. Now much like on the other side, I'm gonna silently drop, camp out in the doorway shadow, and wait for the game's last pickpocket which is this archer. That'll be 11 out of 11 pickpockets for this stage. 3667 out of 3667 loot. And we found all three secrets. Oh, he doesn't patrol as far down. Okay. Well, that's no problem. can wait in one of these side shadows instead. Should definitely be able to bag him from here. Kapow! Last pickpocket in the game. Someday I'm not going to be a guard anymore. I wonder, it may be easier to head out this door. Let's find out. This takes us back out to the courtyard, but that might be easier than sneaking all the way back through. So we could just go through first floor south again. Assuming we time the watcher. And the archer. Okay, yeah, we're gonna have to wait to try this till these patrols cycle again. And we probably need to have the door shut too. He may notice that it's open. But I want to let them get closer together anyway, because even if we end up having to go the other way, it'll be better for us if they're closer together. So, let's do a real save here. Now, there's nothing up here except that watcher. What we have to do... Slide. Okay, if we can, if we can time it well enough to get up onto that railing, I think we should be able to slide down to there without incident. But I have to wall hug a little bit better than that, I suppose is fine. I'm giving the controller extra time anyway. <laughs> Can't have that, however. <laughs> Definitely can't have that. Dun, 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 dun. Hear me, G-Money. I need you to mount up onto the railing without falling all the way down. Can you do that? Don't make any noise. Garrett! <laughs> I actually forgot about this watcher. There. I'm 
Let's try and slide down. <clears throat> Let's see if we can do it without that damage point. Oh, hold on. If we get out... Okay, I need to give the Watcher a little break to turn away. I think we can probably get to the stone wall. <laughs> From there, I should certainly be able to drop without damage. I have little doubt this is going to open toward me. Beautiful. That's what I was hoping to accomplish. Now we find ourselves back in first floor south. And we can easily repeat our earlier moves get to the foyer and get out to the streets. Right, speed. That's what I was thinking. Speed. <clears throat> oh, nope. He's already on his way back. Okay. Now let's just wait here for... Oh. A watcher can spot me here. Did I not open any of these? I guess I didn't. Let's see if this is a good enough spot to wait and not get a first alert. Thought. It is not. Well, I guess I'd better just wait here. Get to the carpet and start running. Out to the foyer. Don't even mess with closing it, cause it's true at all what they said. Point never was true. It'll close automatically for us. Now we just need to figure out where he is. Pick the lock and get out without getting seen. Done and done. That's it. Perfect thief. Could have supreme ghosted it if we didn't go after all the loot. So there we go. Like I said, perfect thief. Could have supreme ghosted it. I pointed out all the loot you would need to skip in order to do that. And that's really all. At, look at our stats. 1 hour, 17 minutes, 9 seconds. 3667 loot out of 3667. Pockets picked 11 out of 12. That's the bug in every mission that says there's one more than there really is. Locks picked 17. No backstabs, no knockouts, no damage dealt or taken, no healing taken, nothing and no one killed. No iron beast destroyed or disabled. F found 3 out of 3 secrets. Campaign so far, 16 hours, 54 minutes, 35 seconds. Found 29,781 loot. We've dealt 9 damage. That's 8 knockouts and running interference plus one to kidnap Cavador, and we've received zero. That's it. No more loot, no more pickpockets. Just one more big mission. I'll see you next time for Sabotage at Soulforge. Bye-bye.